What's up, YouTube? It's me again, Arvil Nathaniel Aramento Alfonso at your service. And in this lecture video, part 3 of our lecture video, we are going to answer these self-study exercises for us to determine the point group of each molecules. But before that, let uh, allow me to first discuss the fundamental concepts before we go on the determination of the point group, okay? So first and foremost, we have the classes of C groups. Ito yung mga principal axis natin. We have, you know, the, uh, as we discussed earlier, uh, as we have C1 for 360 degree, C2 for 180 degree rotation, C3 for uh, 120, C4 for 90 degree, C5 for uh, 72 degree, and C6 is for 60 degree. In short, meron tayong formula na N is equals to uh, 360 degree all over band angle and N is C N. Alright? So, so for the DC group, these are the contains a two or more principal axis C group wherein kapag sila ay perpendicular to each other thereby uh, nagbabisect sila in one particular molecule. Let's say for example, ang principal axis ay uh, meron tayong C3 and meron tayong C2. Ang kukunin natin dito, so of course, they have a D group. So in determination, ano ba ang subscript ng D natin? Ang subscript niya ay yung higher or yung principal axis na nakikita natin dyan. So, for example, ah, ayan, D3. Pero kung halimbawa meron tayong C2 axis, C3 axis, and we also have a C4 axis, for example, kukuna natin yung principal axis or the highest uh, axis of rotation occurs in a molecule. Okay? So, and we have special groups for TD, octahedral, tetrahedral, and icosahedral. Uh, this only possible if and only if they only contain one type of banded atoms. So, we discuss the C1 point group wherein molecules that has no symmetry at all. C infinity DB because it is linear. Uh, the infinity H point group, it is symmetrical but also contains a uh, intersection or perpendicular uh, axis to each other. And also, that the plane of symmetry that contains a sigma H has a uh, is perpendicular also to the principal axis. Kaya, the infinity H siya, and dito rin. So, why it is infinity? Kasi, itong axis na ito is, you can rotate it endlessly. And you will still, it is still symmetric to its uh, original configuration from the previous. Okay? So, these are the three point groups. And, ito yung roadmap natin for us to determine the point group of a molecule. Okay, first and foremost, let's start tayo dito. Kapag linear yung molecule nyo, yes, so is the molecule linear? Yes. It's either D infinity H or C infinity V agad yan. Diba? So, may center of inversion ba? Yes, then that is the infinity H. Kapag wala, C infinity V. Now, it, if it's not linear, yung molecule ba natin is a special point group? If uh, so, what are those? Is it tetrahedral, octahedral, or icosahedral? If it is yes, then assign either of the three. If no, proceed tayo to another. Meron ba tayong principal axis, CN? Kapag wala, these are the ano natin. Meron ba tayong mirror plane? Kapag meron, it is CS. Kapag wala, it is either uh, CI or C1. If and only if, ayan, the only not contain, kasi kapag walang center of inversion, it is C1. Kapag meron, that is CI. So, kapag naman, uh, meron tayong perpendicular uh, C and axis to each other. So, are there and C and axis perpendicular? If yes, dito na papasok yung ating D group natin. So, for example, is there a sigma H plane perpendicular to the C and axis? So, that is D and H. If wala, Proceed tayo to the other. So, another question. Are there sigma V planes? Kapag wala, it's just DN. Kapag meron, it's DNT. Okay? So, paano naman kapag kawalang perpendicular axis? Meron ba tayong 
sigma h that is perpendicular to the cn principal axis if yes that is cn h remember n is the what principal axis or the band angle of the molecules natin divided by 360 degree uh, okay are there any n sigma v planes to the axis if yes then it is cn v kapag wala it is cn so that is the typical roadmap for the determination of a point group of a molecule Pero in this lecture, I'm gonna give you some hacks. Kapag ka nalaman, para isang tingin nyo lang, alam nyo na agad yung, yung, ano, yung point group ng molecule if they have the same banded atoms to the center atoms. For example, in this one. Ayan. Ito, it is linear. Kapag ka heteroatoms, ayan, for example, HF, automatic, that is C infinity V. Pero kapag ka pares naman sila na linear, for example, H2, yan, pares sila ng atoms, that is D infinity H. Ayan, pagka parehas. Pagka naman ito, trigonal planar, remember, dapat pare-paras sila ng banded atoms the central atom. Thus, have a formula na XY3. Matic, ang point group niyan is D3H. Yan na yun. What about this one? Kapag ka parehas, remember, remember, applicable lang to kapag parehas yung banded atoms sa central atoms, ha? Uulitin ko. Pero kapag ka magkaiba, you have to go through this schematic diagram analysis for the determination of point group of particular molecule. Okay, let's get back on track. This one is uh, C2V. This one, of course, tetrahedral. It's TD. Ayan. And then, next natin is ito. Another one. Uh, ay, ayun, nagdagdag lang pala dito. So, apologies for that. Ayan, dito is D infinity H. Ayan, nagdagdag lang ng molecule. D infinity H. Ayan, so it's the same. And then, what if kapag ka ganito, trigonal, pyramidal, automatic, this one is C3. Pag ganitong bent, it is what? C to V. Eh, pagka trigonal by pyramidal, it is of then assigned as D3H. Remember, kapag kaparehas yung mga banded atoms natin. And for the C so, it's C to V. And for this one, this is a what type of Where's the pen? Where's the pen? Where's the pen? Where's the pen? Ayan, ayan. Okay. What about this one? For this one, uh, ito ay C2V. C2V for this one. This one is D infinity H. As discussed earlier. And this one is what? OH. Kasi octahedral. And then, for this one, It's C for V. And this one is for square planar D for H. Ayan. So, you need to memorize all of these uh, assignments ninyo for you to determine the point groups. If and only if, again, pare-parehas yung mga banded atoms natin dito. Okay? So, let's jump in to the exercises such as this one. Okay, I paste lang natin sa ating whiteboard. I'm just gonna go through the whiteboard. Ayan. And then, ayan. So, na-face na ito. So, number one natin is cis n 2 f 2 So, cis n 2 f 2 Ayan. cis n 2 f 2 Ayan. Is cis, okay, syempre, from your organic chemistry. Let's draw this structure. It is a planar. cis It should be lead. N to F2. Ayan. Ganyan shape niya. Kasi this one is trigonal planar. Ayan. So, ano yung point group natin dito? Start here. Simulan natin dito. Is the molecule linear? No. It's not linear. Does the molecule have TD or OHIH symmetry? Wala, di ba? It's not uh, tetrahedral or octahedral. 
And then, for the third, is there principal axis CN? Yes. Ito ang principal axis CN natin. C2. Ayan. Is there another principal axis present? Okay. So, yes. And then, are there N C2 axis perpendicular to the CN axis? Meron ba? Wala naman na, di ba? We don't have an C, C axis here. Wala rin naman tayo dito. Kasi pag ka-rotate mo yan, it will not, it, uh, hindi na siya symmetrical or undistinguishable to its original configuration. So, wala. So, it's a no. So, is there a sigma H perpendicular to the CN axis? Meron ba? Wala naman, di ba? Wala. Kasi, pag sinabi perpendicular, mirror image na ganyan. So, wala naman, di ba? Mapapansin natin that they will not identical. So, again, it's a no. So, are there sigma V planes to the, containing the CN axis? Yes. And this one here, di ba? Beneath the molecule that contains D. And that is sigma V. Combining the C2 and sigma V, we will obtain a point group of C2. B. That's the answer for our number one. Yan. So, by practice, uh, malalaman ninyo sa isang tingin nyo lang yung point group by also imagining. However, for the sake of discussion, bumasi tayo sa roadmap. Okay? So, I'm gonna erase this first and let's go on the number Okay, number 2 na tayo. Next. Or I can just move this para mapadali lang. Ayan. I can just move this one and erase the uh, the markers here. Ayan. Markers natin. So, ayan. Wait lang. There's just a technical error. Okay, let's continue. So, for number 2, what is our number 2? That is XEF4. Actually, kanina pa natin din discuss to XEF4. So, XEF4. So, draw the BSAPR model for this. This is XE. Anong shape nito? This one is square planar. Ayan. Square planar siya. So, how do I know that? B mastery of BSAPR theory. Ayan. So, after I draw that, ayan. So, this one. And also, if you cannot visualize this molecule, uh, you can, uh, ganito yung tsura niya eh. Ayan. So, this is the model, the molecule. The square planar. So, if you have a model, visualize na lang. But I'm gonna use the white, Microsoft white word for us to determine the schematic roadmap. Ayan. Pero, Doon naman sa diniscuss ko anina is that is D4H, di ba? Sinabi ko if it is square planar. So, they have the same substituents. Pero bakit kaya D4H yung point group ng ating uh, uh, sinon tetrafluoride, di ba? D4H to. So, let's determine by using this row. Is the molecule linear? No, it's not linear. Does the molecule have TD or OH symmetry? No. Hindi rin. Is there CN principal axis? Yes. Meron tayong C4 dito na isa. And we also have uh, man, yan, the C4 is our principal axis. Are there N CN2 axis perpendicular to the CN axis? Yes. And that is ito. Yung mga C2 natin. We have 4 actually. 4 C2 axis. Ayan. And then uh, is there a uh, sigma H plane perpendicular to the principal axis? And the answer is yes again. Why? Because we have here. Ito. And it is perpendicular. So, paano ko nasabi? Uh, let's take a look. So, this is the square planar. And I have this sigma H plane. We need this sa ibabaw. And this is the principal axis. So, it is perpendicular. So, it contains sigma H uh, plane. Okay? So, it's a yes. Uh, yes. Yan. Dito tayo. 
is there a sigma h plane perpendicular a sigma h plane to the c and axis are there c to axis and look at that axis ah yes dito pala tayo dito dito tayo sa yes sorry for that is there a sigma h plane perpendicular to the c and axis yes di ba so yun yung sagot natin c4 that is meron tayong sigma h yan so combining the sigma h and the c4 and the c2 di ba this one siya ay magiging d4 so combining the d4 and the sigma h we will have a d4 h point group okay so that's it for number two Ayan. So, nagkamali lang ako sa may kanina. So, sorry for that. I hope it clutters up the, uh, the confusion. So, let's proceed to number 3. So, I'm gonna just drag this down here. Na-drag down ko lang ng konti. Ayan. So, ang number, question number 3 natin is PF5, Phosphorus Pentafluoride. So, PF5 and its molecular structure ay ganito. So, trigonal by pyramidal. Ayan. So, if you have a molecular model, di ba? Ayan. It's lucky to have a molecular model. So, again, diniscuss to anina. Kapag trigonal by pyramidal and pare-paras yung substituent niya, what is that? Automatically, that is D3H. Pero paano kaya naging D3H ito? Diba? Paano siya naging D3H? So now, let's construct this phosphorus pentafluoride. Apologies for not constructing it uh, before the discussion, but let's try. Okay. So, it's a T-shape, trigonal by pyramidal shape. Ayan. So, we have five substituents here. Five substituents here. Ang itsura niya ay ganito, actually. So, Ayan. So, it's a T-shape. Ah, oh, wait. Hindi nakikita yung the rest of the ano. Ayan. It's a T-shape. Actually, ah, uh, kita ba? It's a T-shape. Ayan. Ito. T-shape dito and you have a dito. So, mapapansin ninyo. So, isa-isahin natin dito sa ating uh, whiteboard. It's the molecule, linear, no, it's not linear, the same molecular, uh, TDOH symmetry, no. Is there principal axis C and yes, dito sa ibabaw. We have actually C3. So, nasan yun? So, top view yun, right? Ito yung top, ito yung side view nun. Pagka tinap view mo siya, ganito ang itsura niya. Ayan. It's 120 degrees. So, isulat ko sa whiteboard. Ayan, ang top view nito ay ganito. Ayan. Ah, uh, sorry for that. Ito, ito, and ito. Ayan, it's trigonal planar. So, 120 degree kaya. C3. So, yes. Are there NCN axis perpendicular to the CN axis? The answer is yes. Why? Because, meron tayong mga C2 dito. ba? Meron tayong C2 here, C2 here, and C2. When you rotate it, Ayan, remember, it's on the plane, ha? It's on the plane, and this one ay pusok. Ayan, C2. Yes, the answer is yes. Is there sigma H plane perpendicular to the NCN axis? The answer is also yes, di ba? So, the C3N is perpendicular to this sigma H plane. Ganito. So, I'm going to demonstrate this one. So, uh, ito yung top view ng ating molecule, right? Uh, it's trigonal planar. Tanggalin ko na nga itong dalawa. Ayan. So, it's trigonal planar. Ito yung top view ng molecule. Tinanggal ko lang yung dalawang substituents. Kasi hindi kaya i-hold ng ting-ting. So, ito, yung view niya is, and remember, may dalawang molecules dito, ah, atoms. Patungan mo, and then the C3 axis. Yeah, perpendicular. So, it contains a uh, sigma H group. Okay? So, returning to the whiteboard. So, yes, we have, it's yes. So, D and H siya. So, ano kaya ang ano nun? Again, let's combine the C2 and C3 
siya yung magiging D3. And we also have a sigma H. Combining the sigma H and the D3, we will have a D3 H point group. Ayan. So that's it for our number 3. Okay, I'm just gonna erase this. And then for our number 4, okay, number 4. What is the molecule at number 4? That's POCl3. Okay. POCl3. Let's draw that. POCl3. POCl3. And its basic criteria is ito. Ayan. Okay. Ayan yung basic criteria niya. Um, 3D molecular structure. So, let's answer the question. Is the molecule linear? No, again. Does the molecule have TDOH or IH symmetry? So, ito tetrahedral to eh, actually. This is tetrahedral. However, meron tayong naibang banded atoms sa P. And that is the oxygen. So, hindi na siya magiging TD point group. It will be a TD point group if and only if the O is CL. Okay? Yan, ganito. Maging TD yan, kapag yan, ay, ah, ayun, basta ganun. Okay? You get the idea for that. So, it's a no. Is there a N principal axis? Yes. Nandi dito yung C3 natin. Right? C3. Are there any C2 axis perpendicular to the CN axis? Meron ba? Meron ba tayong C2 dito? Meron ba dito? Meron ba dito? Wala. Kasi, this one's not planar. Hindi naman planar yan. Iikot mo yan. They will be not identical to each other. So, it's a no. Yan. Is there a perpendicular sigma H to the plane? Meron ba? Meron ba dito? Wala. Because it's not planar. Remember, nakababa yung mga yan. So, it's a no. So, are there CNV plane containing the CN axis? Yes. Meron actually. It's between the N and the CL. Itong mga to. It's sigma V plane here. Uh, sigma V. Ayan. So, after that, so let's us combine the C3 and sigma V. We will have the point group of C3. V. So, that's the answer for our number 4. Okay? Let's just erase the... I wrote here on the diagram. And let's go to the number 5. What's the molecule on the number 5? It's BF3. Ah! It's BF3. Okay. Boron trifluoride. Oh, so, ano to? Trigonal planar. So, diniscus natin kanina. Ano yung point group na sinabi ko? D3H. Ito yung example natin kanina sa part 1 of the lecture video. So, ayun, let's identify. Is the molecule linear? No. TDOHIH? No. Is the principal axis? Yes. Dito, sa part na to, di ba? Dun sa member, it's trigonal planar. So, nandun siya sa top. Okay, ito. Dito sa top. It's 120 degree. So, we have a C3. Ayan, on its top. So, meron bang perpendicular? Yes, ito. Itong mga to. Okay, this is C2. This one is C2. And this one is C2. So, is there a sigma H plane? Yes, di ba? Sigma H plane perpendicular to the principal axis. Yan, di ba? So, it's a yes. Remember, uh, I'm sorry, hindi ko pala nilipat. So, sa whiteboard natin, ayan, ulitin ko na yung discussion natin. So, we have C2, we have C2, and we have C2, and then sigma H here. So, paano ba nangyari yon? So, ito, yung BF3 natin, BF3 natin. This is the sigma H plane and it is perpendicular to the principal axis natin. So, that is um, sigma 3H. So, ayan. So, upon natin, meron tayo sigma H. So, combining the C3 and C2, C and they are perpendicular, they are D3. Combining the sigma H and D3, therefore, the point group is D3H. Ayan. D3H, ayusin natin. D3H. That's for number 5. Okay, let's erase what we have wrote here on the... Okay.
Okay. So, bunta na tayo for number 6. Yan. It's number 6. Actually, a point group. It's quite simple sa mga simple molecules natin. Ang mahirap dito ay si mga organic. So, organic molecules tayo mahirapan mag-assign ng point. But, let's stick to the fundamentals first. Siyempre. ba? Diba? Okay. So, for number 6, that is OF2. So, OF2 siya. Let's just draw this. OF2. O, uh, OF2 for number 6. So, let's draw it. OF2. Okay. Go natin. Is the molecule linear? No. TDIOH? No. Is there principal axis? Yes. Meron tayo principal axis here. Dito. It's C2 actually. So, are there any axis perpendicular to the CN axis? Wala naman, di ba? Wala. Wala tayong perpendicular here and dito. No. Is there sigma H plane? Wala din. Kasi, it is not a planar. Di ba? So, no. Is there sigma V plane? Yes. Ito. Dito. Ayan. So, paano ko nasabi yan? Kung bakit tayo meron tayong sigma uh, sigma V. Consider this molecule. Okay. Uh, ito kasi OF. Ayan. This is the principal axis. And the sigma V plane is here on this side. Ayan. So it contains the sigma V plane. It contains the sigma V plane here. So, ayun yung sigma V plane natin for that. And combining the C2 and sigma V, we will have C2 V. Okay, di ba? So that's for number 6. Okay? Now, let's go at the... Exercise number 7. Exercise number 7. Ayan. So, what is the exercise number 7? That is ammonium. Okay. Ammonium for that. So, sulat natin yung ammonium. So, ammonium. Ang structure ng ammonium ay ganito. Ayan. Uy. Parang may madali ata ito ah. So, let's do the diagram. Is the molecule linear? No. Does the molecule have TD or o, TD, OH or IH symmetry? Yes. Because this is tetrahedral. Diba? Kasi they all have the same bonded molecules to the central atoms. Bonded atoms to the central atoms, right? So, it's TD. Ganun lang kadali. Okay. Or, let's move on. To the number 7. Number 7. Move tayo. Okay, what is number 7? That is CHCl3. CHCl3. Okay, so let's draw this. So CHCl. Uh, okay. Kung mapapansin ninyo, ito ay tetrahedral shape din, di ba? However, Naroon tayo na ibang isang atoms dito na advance sa niya. And that is the H. So, we will follow the same diagram. Is the molecule linear? No. TD, OH, or H symmetry? No. Is there, a, is there principal axis C? And yes, meron tayong principal axis at its top. And that is the C3. So, meron ba tayong perpendicular to the NC axis? Wala. Wala tayong perpendicular planes here because it is not planar. So, it's a no again. Is there sigma H? Wala din. Wala din tayo sigma H. Are there sigma V planes on the CN axis? Yes. Ito. Ayan. ba? Diba? Itong molecule na yan. And then, ito. Or actually, three. Ayan. So, they, it contains the C3. So, pagsamayin natin C3 and sigma V, that is C3B point group for the CHCl3. Pakit pa na pagkakasulat ko. Ayun, that is for number 8. Now, let's go on to number 9. Ayan, so let's move on to this. Bababa ko lang itong diagram na to. So, number 9. Number 9. Ano ko natin sa number 9 again? Okay, carbon disulfide. Carbon disulfide. So, that is C, S. Ah, okay, mispoil ko naman agad. CS2, structure niya ay ganito. CS. Ayan. Is the molecule linear? Yes. Diba? It's a yes sa wakas. 
Is there a center inversion symmetry? Yes. Ano kaya yun? Ito, we have, di ba, symmetry natin. Ito yung center of inversion niya. Kasi pag hinati natin yan, the molecule is reflected to each other and it will yield the same molecule. And also, ayan, so may inversion center siya. Yes, and that is the infinity H. Ayan. So, let's proceed again for number 10. I hope you follow the discussion kasi uh, this is not quite complicated pagka na-master ninyo yung mga symmetry operations natin. Basta hanapin nyo lang sila isa-isa. Okay, for number 10, what is our number 10? That is SF5CL. So, SF5CL. So, SF5CL. SF5CL that has a structure of S. So, it's an octahedral. Okay. Uh, Pagta na lang natin to. So, this one is F, F, and then one, this one is F, F, and then, ayan. So, ito ay octahedral shape. Right? However, don't fall into the trap kasi meron tayong naiibang sub, uh, atoms dito na bonded sa ating central atom. So, let's stick to the diagram. Is the molecule linear? No. PDOH or IH? No, again. Is there CN axis? Yes. Meron. Dito. Sa top natin. That is actually a C5. Ah, no, no, no. It's C4. Kasi it's between here is 90 degree. Tandaan ninyo, ang top view kasi niyan ay pa ganyan. Ayan, yung top view ng ating SF5CL. So, it's here, it's 90 degree. So, it's C4. Are there C and axis perpendicular to the principal axis? Yes, ito. These are C2. Mga C2 yung mga yan. Kasi 180 degrees. Ah, uh, wait. Actually, not. There have, it is none. Kasi meron pala tayong CL dito. So, I'm going to retract what I've said. So I'm sorry, so, so, sorry for that. We do not have a perpendicular uh, axis to that. Kasi meron tayong sub-C2. Pero kung wala, yung uh, CL dun sa baba, chlorine. It is meron. So, I'm gonna, going to retract that. I'm so sorry. So, wala tayo. No. Is there sigma H plane? Again, meron ba? Wala. Kasi again, kunwari, lagyan natin ng mirror dito. Okay. On the other side, is it F? Hindi naman, di ba? It is CL. And then, on the other side, so, mababago yung ating, kung natin, it will be distinguishable to its original configuration. Di ba? So, Therefore, it does not contain a sigma H plane. Ayan. And then, is there a, a, so no, is there a, a sigma V plane on the CN axis? Yes. Ito. Meron tayong isa, actually. And this one is this. Ito, ito. Itong part na ito, ito, ito. ito. Ayan, yan, 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 gitna, yan. Isa lang, actually. Ayan. Dito, hindi. Hindi, pwede. Oo, pwede yan. So, we have 4 and 5 axis na sigma V. Inyo. Yan. Meron din dito sigma V, meron din sigma V dito. So, combining the C4 and sigma V, the point group of our 10th molecule is C4V. Okay. So, for the number 11 of the PowerPoint presentation, actually, this is I'm quite simple. So, uh, we have BF3 daw. So, ano ba mga symmetry elements natin dito? We have C3, we have C2, we have sigma H, and we also have sigma V na tatlo. Ayan. So, nalaman ko yung true practice. Ayan. True practice yun. So, 3C2. Ayan. So, it's for letter A. Kapag ka na-convert siya into boron, C, L, and F. Ano yung nawala sa kanya? Nawala yung dalawang sigma 2 natin. Meron na lang isang sig C2 dito. Isa. Okay, natin ang color. Ito. Dito lang C2 natin. Dito wala tayong C2 dito. Wala na rin tayong C3. Ayan. So, sigma H, yes. Meron pa rin kasi plane here. So, meron tayong sigma H. Yan lang yung natira. Sigma V, meron ba? Yes. Ito. Meron tayong sigma V plane dito. 
So, we have 1 sigma V. Another, alana. So, ang nawala sa atin, the letter A natin, the lost symmetry elements are uh, C3, dalawang C2, and dalawang sigma V. Ayun. That's for letter A. So, upon ano dito? Uh, so, upon, so, BCF, so, pagka naman na-convert na daw siya into BCLF5, BF2CL, ano daw yung mga nawala natin? So, mapapansin niyo iba-iba na yung substituents natin. Ayan, so, forgive me for my drawing. So, nawala lahat. Diba? Wala na tayong C3, wala na din tayong C2 dito. C symmetry elements. Ang natira lang sa atin is yung ating mirror dito sa may plane natin. So, ang natira lang ay sigma H lang. So, ang nawala, to answer the question letter B, nawala yung C2 at nawala yung sigma V natin na symmetry elements. Upon the conversion from the BC LF2 to B, BRCLF. Uh, pasensya na sa drawing ko guys. <laughs> I hope you can bear with me. Yan, so, uh, sa letter C natin, which symmetry element is common to all the three molecules? Mapapansin ninyo, the most common are Sigma H. Diba? Lahat sila meron Sigma H. So, ayan. Uh, that's it for our lecture for today. And if you wish to enhance your skill in practicing for the determination of point group of a molecule, the symmetric molecule. So, and with this symmetry.org. Actually, I made a lecture, uh, a short demonstration video of how to navigate this website. That was introduced by my professor at the University of Santo Tomas, Carlos P. Garcia. Ayun. Uh, so that's it. So thank you for listening. And for the next lecture video, I hope that I'll make some video about the vibrational uh, spectroscopy in relation to point group and uh, character tables that we see here. Yeah, to, uh, for us to determine the IR and Raman active in a particular molecule. So that's it. Uh, thank you so much for listening, guys. And I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, uh, kindly comment down below and I'll try to answer your questions as much as possible. Thank you so much and have a nice day to all.